Uh, this next boss is really tough to get AP condition on, so then you may have to reach to try this fight a few times. Entering the ruins will cause me story to advance. Well, I already did every quest I could, including the Terra Shrine. Man, this next boss is going to make all, everything i fought so far look like chumps. Alright, here goes. I don't have Edmontine Shield to protect me either, so it's going to be really tough to stay alive. This game is not going to give me Edmontine Shield probably until the very last minute, if at all. Whoa, what the hell? I don't have anything to really stack evasion with either. So I can't just turn Fee into an evade tank, and even if I did, I'm not sure she could win 40 turns. Yeah, Crossbell somehow destroyed the wall that horribly. And there's a big barrier around them too. <sighs> More of Ouroboros' handiwork, most likely. Is there another Septillion in Crossbell? It's like someone took a giant ice cream scoop to it. I mean, I'd heard what had happened, but... Yeah. None of that prepared me for the reality of how it looks in person. That place you can see in the distance must be Crossbell City. But what's that blue barrier surrounding it? Well, according to info I got from the Guild, Crossbell's got some kind of new power. And we're talking big, absolute power. Uh. No one's got a clue how the damn thing works, though. It sounds terrifying. Yeah. Anyway, that power was what allowed them to do this to Gorelia. It's also what's putting up that barrier around the city. Thanks to that, no other country on the continent, Arabonia included, can touch them. The concept alone is so out of this world, I thought my source was just messing with me, but now... Yeah. You can't doubt what's right before your eyes. Please. I'm willing to bet Ouroboros is involved in whatever happened there. Wouldn't surprise me. Whatever happened in Crossbell, it happened at about the same time the war broke out in Erebonia. It's no coincidence. So there's every chance they're behind both. <sighs> Unbelievable. There's a lot for us to take in, and a lot of questions that need answering. Right now, I think we should focus on reuniting with the 4th Armored Division. We can think about what to do next once we've met with them. Yeah, you're right. The Proving Ground is on the opposite side of the fortress, right? Then we should head farther inside and... It's a mine! <gasps> what was that sound? Don't move, Machias! Wh why <laughs> <laughs> what, what the hell? It was a new model mine. <laughs> Thought so. Come out, you two! I know you're there! <laughs> oh, uh, you noticed. You haven't lost your touch, Fee. Those two in Heimdall during the National Address? They were. And they were with Duke Cayenne and LeGram. I knew it. Zephyr. No see, Fee. They're her uh, old Irish, squad mates. <laughs> Still pint size, but you've grown a bit taller, at least. Her muscular strength, reflexes, and agility have also remarkably improved. There's no stopping the flow of time, I suppose. Careful, guys. That's Zephyr's emblem on their jackets. Wait, Zephyr? That's the Jaeger Corp he was with! And, they're and we have to fight them both at the same time. Uh. 
Zeno and Leonidas. Come on, there's no need to be so on guard. We just want to enjoy our long-awaited reunion with an old friend and comrade. How about you, Fee? Miss us? You're the same as ever. Although, if you keep using traps to kick off reunion parties, you won't have any friends left before long. Ah, don't be like that. That's just my way of saying hi. Thought it'd bring you back to the good old days when you used to play with them for practice. For practice? And I only set the one, so give me a break, okay? Well, whatever. You look good, Leo. I'm glad. Well, we haven't changed half as much in the span of a year as you do. Adults have a lot less room for growing, after all. I'm already 15, you know. Where have you two been all this time? I tried to find out where you'd gone after you all disappeared, but it was like you vanished from the continent. Who knows? Anyway, uh, let's let the past stay in the past, yeah? So, uh, you up to anything fun? We're giving the Noble Alliance guys lessons on how to pilot those soul dots better these days. This is this conversation is way too casual. Jaegers, but they suck at piloting them even when they do listen, so whatever. Ouch. They suck at piloting them, so I guess they're just as noob as Reen. Hopefully that means we stand a chance if we ever run to them. Oh. These two are Jaegers, right? <laughs> they sure don't seem that way. Well, they're old friends of Fee's. And they're also probably way- uh, uh, And each one is individually a part of an enforcer, probably. They might seem friendly, but don't let your guard down. Zephyr's up there together with the Red Constellation as one of the strongest cores in Zemuria. They're the real deal. What a fool of me. So these are the people Fee lived with before she joined us. Okay, I think we better wrap up the family reunion. Wish we could catch up with you a little while longer. But unfortunately, we've got a job to do, and work takes priority. To confirm, you have no intention of withdrawing. None. We're here with conflicting goals. That makes us enemies. And that gives us no choice but to fight with everything we've got. <laughs> Trust you to know how this works. How exactly am I going to beat what these two? Weapons are those? Jaegers are always using the fanciest mechanical weapons ever. A blade rifle and a mechanized gauntlet? Alright, let's have some fun! You ready, kiddos? Fight with everything you have. Unless you want to end up in as many pieces as this fortress. Uh. Oh boy. Okay, now I can believe they're really Jaegers. These two served as regimental commanders back in the core. Our odds of winning are 20% at best. 20%? I'm not sure I like those odds. Like them or not, we have no choice but to bet on those odds. Let's give this all we got! Well, let's get started. Oh, hell no, they have the first turn. I ain't gonna like these. Ha! Too slow. My turn. Hmm, how should I go about this? Okay. 
Alright. Elliot. Try this. Wow, this is really good. Okay, get both of them. Do this. Right. Time barrier. My turn. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Ah. I have to break out some Zerum powders just to get through this. Yeah, DLC really. I think this is where I really have to cheese with the DLC. Uh. have to get them down to a certain point. Even if I have to cheese a DLC, it, it, I have no choice, really. You kids aren't bad. Right. Okay, scouted you. I'll handle it. Okay. Serum powder on Reen so we can try hitting them with an S craft. Try this. Thanks. Okay. Have at him, Reen. Ah. Strike. I am just gonna cheap out here. Yes! I did it! I got the bonus AP! Even if I had the cheese with Zerum powder! Yes! I had the cheese with Zerum powder just to get an extra S-Craft in, but it was worth it. These two are like, you guys are freaking, you guys are freaking, you guys are freaking paying your way to win! You, how you call yourselves a ga gamers? 
I'm sure that's what we, we, these two are saying. They're, They're monsters. They're still holding back too. Not bad for being only students. You show great potential. Your academy training seems to have paid off. It's not easy to keep up with feet. <laughs> you think they could handle us if we kicked it up a notch? Probably not. We couldn't even. If if that ball had gone, they would have just used their S cross and finished me off. I'm game if you are, Leo. Who else is up for round two? Ah, should have known they weren't even trying. That twenty percent is looking more like zero right now. Should we just call Velmar to step on them? That's really our only hope right now. What do you all think you're doing? Who's that? Yeah, we're gonna need Valimar either way. Soldats? The one at the front is like the Soldat Scarlet was piloting near Trista. What are they doing coming from the by road? I get it now. The attack from the Transcontinental Railroad was just a diversion. They were intending to launch a surprise attack from the flank all along. What are civilians doing here? Or Zephyr for that matter? First you disappear when you're supposed to be taking part in our operation, and then you wind up here! You mean they're not supposed to stand guard here? Be gone! You're in our way! I really had to cheap out that battle. Gonna have to wait, I guess. I'm not too Bummer. proud of that. I usually don't like using Xerum powders, but I actually had to just to win this fight. I was hoping to get a chance to try my luck against that famous knight, too. It's a trap specially made for it and everything. You'll get your chance eventually. Ah! I don't care. I have my stupid AP bonus. Screw we you guys. Stand down for now and watch from above. What should we do? We don't have to worry about Zeno and Leo now, but we're not out of danger yet. After how much trouble it was to defeat one soldat back near Trista, not out of danger is an understatement. Yeah. And it was one of those against all of Class 7. <sighs> Stand back, everyone. Are you...? Wait... You're gonna call Valmar? It's the only choice we have! Heed my call. Valmar, the Ashen Knight! Uh, yes. We should have just summoned Valmar to step on those guys in the beginning. That would have been the best choice. Uh. But then again, they say they had traps specially made for Valimar. So I guess that means they, that they have a way to fight mechas even though they're just foot even while on foot. It's coming from the sky over there. Is it an Imperial Army airship? It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Valimar! Uh, here to avenge my pathetic showing against the Zephyr duo. Seriously, that was utterly pathetic. What sure, I stole his two crit turns, but is that the thing uh, you mentioned in the report? I didn't manage to get him. Uh, I didn't manage to unleash him at 200% CP, so it kind of felt like a failure. Uh, the fact that I had to use a uh, use a Zerum powder also makes me feel like I failed. Why? Why is it here? You... you can't be! Ah! Uh, he really came. I must finish them all. I'm only a, against the sword type, so for the first round, huh? Whoa! This is amazing! Sorry for leaving this to you, Reen. We're counting on you. Right! Uh, I still don't have a freaking giant sword for this... Uh, for Valamar yet. I am screwed. I have to punch them to death. Somehow. This is, at least we're not fighting the stronger unit right away, but we still have to, this is a, our first, uh, the first battle we're outnumbered in terms of, in terms of mechs. Okay, uh. shouldn't need to worry about fighting on borrowed time like before. 
we're up against an awful lot of them now. Uh. If only we had some kind of weapon. Well, oh, that won't be an issue. There are plenty of potential weapons right there in front so of us. So you tend to beat them up and steal their swords. <laughs> Clever. If that's what you have in mind, we'd best concentrate our attacks on one of them and snatch it away as quickly as possible. Yeah, once I defeat one unit, I'll get uh, I'll get a sword. So I uh, so yeah, just finish do deal with one at a time. That's the plan. Valamar, here we go. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Uh. All right, you ready? Ah, I don't have any good crafts right now, so I'm changing targets. Change targets with the L, B, R, B button. That way I can select different. All right. So when they're in their normal stance, their weak, their body is the weak point. I put you in a. I'm putting you in a dick. Ha ha. Ow. Yeah, attack your body once more. Let's go. Let's go. Huh. Huh. Now wait. I only have defend, huh? Only f uh Let's go. Uh, let's try more. Let's see if Morning Moon is any good. Bring it on. Gotcha. Ah, I didn't crit um when I. Interesting. I can still attack the body. They haven't even used any of their special attacks yet. Let's go. Finisher. Destructive impact. Yes, destructive impact. It's working. Keep it up. Sure is taking a while though. Ugh. Uh oh. I don't have that spirit thing from before. I'm guessing that was why Valimar was so drained before. Reen just kept consuming all of Valimar's mana to heal it. And that did not do. And that was really bad in the long term. I'm guessing that's why I can't use it now. I can only use the more. the slightly more efficient defend command for it. Ow. You're not up yet. Keep going. Bring it on. Morning moon. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, what if I was in the casting stance? In this stance, their head is the weak point. I just hope I can uh, finish this one off in time. Draken sword body. Here goes. Destructive impact. Okay, give me your sword. It'll be in much better hands. Wait, I just used that. Huh, nicely done, Rain. I'm just glad 
that it worked. Uh huh. This is where the real battle begins. Yeah! That's our ring! That was quite an impressive plan. Huh? We're res they're resonating with Valimar? Are your Arcuses resonating with Valimar? Nice. Go ahead and show me what you can do. Now perform EX Arts. The rest of Class 7 instructor star included can influence Divine Knight battles by acting as subcontractors. The character closest to Reen will be chosen as its default partner. EX Arts vary by character. Owie. Ah. I now have I don't have Queen I don't have his buff move. No. Well anyways, for the gun type, well it's in that char charging stance um supposed to attack its body. Otherwise I'm supposed to attack its head. Now! Changing partners. You can change partners with RB and then up or down and then up and down. Charge okay, that's a lot. That's not very good. Uh Restore Restores a thousand EP. That way I can sustain myself in the long run. Is there a limit to using charge? That's the problem, huh? Blades of wind, wind element. Sonic burst. Tech the body again. How much does Gale Raid do? Not bad. Okay, now I have to attack the head. No! I got it wrong! Gotcha! My turn. RB. Resounding beat and Geo Clay. Good luck. I'll try at least. I can swap freely. I see, even- it's not- I have a chance of unbalancing it, but it's not very high. Almost there. Body.
Okay, if I use Aquamara, I can finish this guy off before he can even move. Try this. Dead. No, it's just you and me, sword man. Ow. Okay, sword. The body is the weak point right now. I want to save Morning Moon for when they're about to do a bigger, a bigger attack. That would seem to be the best choice. Yeah, these guys are not putting up much of a fight compared to Zeno and Leonidas. And this is supposed to be nightmare mode, huh? I guess they're just supposed to be mooks compared to Valimar. Okay. Valimar and the other Divine Knights. What exactly does Burst Sorry, Drive do this? anyways? No problem. Can act quickly again, I see. No need to use that yet. You handle this? We'll do. Okay, so I'll just have her use Sonic first. <laughs> Morning Moon. Super speed. Charging him up. Okay, head. Let's go. I feel like I'm. Uh, I feel like I'm doing this kendo style. In Kendo, I think you're supposed to call out which body part you're attacking. Yes, basically, this this entire this whole mech battle is Kendo. Bring it on. Gotcha. You're dead. Gotcha. Ah, uh, curse you! You didn't do half bad that time. I wish I get everyone Link experience, considering I used pretty much everyone except Machias there. This can't be happening. How can it be this strong? Well, what's it to be? We can do this all day if you're still not ready to give up. Ugh. He's got this. But he'll run out of mana if he keeps this up. That he does. He's turned this whole situation around. They're scared. So, this battle isn't over yet. Uh, what's he planning? We still have the advantage in numbers. If we can surround him, victory will be ours. Enough! Fearless voice. What? That sounds like... But these tanks are pretty much useless against the Soul Dots. From la unless they upgraded it significantly. What? They have they have upgraded they must have upgraded the, the cannons on those tanks somehow. They are te they're tearing those Soul Dots apart like paper. How are they here? They're supposed to be dealing with the force of the transcontinental railroad. Seriously, and how are they? Do uh, back then, they weren't able to deal any damage to the Soul Dots. Like maybe, uh, maybe Irina Reinford came up with some uh, new, uh, uh, some new model. Uh, 
nothing more than a small diversion. And again, I don't know which side she takes, so maybe I think the division that was with the reformist faction probably came up with this. And I suggest you turn and run off with your tails between your legs if you don't want to share their fate. Unless you men think you can handle the might of the fourth armored division. <sighs> Curse you, Craig! Fine. If that's how you wanna play. We'll just have to call. Are you alright, sir? What the? Hit him right in the face! A sniper? Where are they? Is that Claire? What just happened? Who the? I've taken out the commander's sensor. What's the situation with Zephyr? Both are standing by at 5 o'clock. No signs of movement. Acknowledged. Ignore them for now. Focus your attention on the highway instead. Yes, ma'am. If she can aim that precisely from that far away, we're likely in her sights, too. The icy maiden has certainly earned her reputation. Wouldn't want to try my luck against her. Not right now, anyway. Not much we can do while she's all the way over there. Besides, uh, I think it's about time we called it a day. Uh. We're taking off, Fee. See you some other time, okay? Be sure to keep up with your training. There's no way we can beat these two without Valimar, that's for sure. You'll need it if you want to make it through this war unscathed. Seriously. I took, it took me so many tries. The trick is to get really lucky with critical turns and have a, 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 at least one Zerum Powder. I think there should be at least one Zerum Powder you can obtain through normal means at this point, probably. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Is there a Zerum Powder at this point in the game? Yeah, if you get the transfer bonus, you can get at least one Zerum Powder. And the Mirror Canyon also has one. So yeah, there's two Zerum powers you can get, and you might want to save at least one of them for this battle, at the very least. There's no other... There's, I don't know if there's any other way to survive easily. Too bad Valmar doesn't have any roller uh, roller blades, but he can fly, so I guess that makes him better in a way. Uh. Phew. Looks like we're safe now. Hey, nice work out there. Whew. I felt uncomfortably close to death one or four too many times. At least it's all over with now. Dad! Thank goodness you're all right! Elliot! Uh, what a relief. I managed to get through all those battles somehow. That's the famous Craig the Red, huh? Looks like the real model of a scary-ass military officer. About that. That's what everyone thinks at first. Oh! My beloved gift from Adios! <laughs> why, why, why did you talk? Come here into your father's loving embrace. In no way, Dad. I mean, I'm glad you haven't changed, but uh, Dad! Nonsense! You were raised in my arms, my boy. What's another two or three minutes more? I can tell you've lost some weight, but you're otherwise as fit as your fiddles. Oh, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> you too. But you're seriously hurting me now. At least loosen your grip some. That thing I said earlier, I take it back. <laughs> yeah, everyone reacts like that. Elliot seems really happy though. Yeah, it's great to see them together again. I'm pleased to see that everything went well. I thought it was you. 
Looks like you're from the Railway Military Police. Then you must be... It's a pleasure to see you again, Captain. <laughs> Likewise. Is she gonna join our party as well? And, yes sir. I'm Captain Claire Revelt of the RMP. It sounds as though we have plenty to discuss. Perhaps in a more fitting location. Follow me if you would. War Department Division Temporary Base. Oh, there's even a makeshift. Is that no? That's not the brace. That's not the bracer emblem. Shoot. I'd like to that's begin the Erebonia by emblem. You on making it all the way here. I'm overjoyed to see you all again. The same to you, Captain. I had no idea what had happened to you after Heimdall's occupation. It's a huge relief to see you made it out okay. If only you shot Crow in the face, then maybe he wouldn't have gone and beat me up. Funny. I was just as concerned for all of you. As for you, I believe it's the first time we've had the pleasure of meeting. You're Tovel Rondenor of the Bracer Guild, yes? One of Sarah's co-workers. Wow, you've actually heard of me? Though, to tell you the truth, I've heard more than my fair share of stories about you from Sarah, too. Kinda surprising to see you with the 4th Armored Division. She got in touch with us soon after the war broke out, in fact. She then mobilized the RMP to guide us to this proving ground so that we could establish a base. We wouldn't be here now if not for her. Wow, really? I see your ability to make good, quick judgments is still intact. Reorganizing the divided divisions was of the utmost importance. I simply did what I had to do. I was concerned about His Excellency and what was happening in the capital. But he always told me to act objectively in times of crisis. Oh. My, my apologies, Captain. I'd almost forgotten that she was right there in the capital when her boss was assassinated. And by none other than Crow. Oh, yeah. Where's Instructor Neidhart anyway? I thought he would be here with you, Dad. He hasn't been back to this division, no. We had no idea whatsoever of his whereabouts until a few days ago. But then he was finally able to get in contact and inform us that he was well. That's good news. Either way, it sounds like you can't be too careful. This base is held so far, but there's no guarantee that'll always be the case. I wish I could deny that. The Noble Alliance is starting to put more and more resources into trying to finish us off. We know how to deal with their soul lights, which evens the odds, but we're at a disadvantage when it comes to supplies. So how exactly are you getting past their reactive armor? True. This isn't the best location for getting outside help. It basically makes them invincible to er everything except Valimar's attacks. The longer the war goes on, the harder it's going to be Another mech attacks, I suppose. That said, we have no intention of giving up without a fight. Our enemies have occupied the capital and effectively taken the citizens as well as the Imperial family hostage. Even should the goddess forgive them, I damn well won't! You don't need to yell quite that loudly. Besides, I don't think you'll find many who are willing to forgive them. Although, if anything, I'm just worried about how Fiona's doing. That's right, she lives in Heimdall. Yeah, I'm worried about Dad, too. I'm afraid I don't yet have any specific information regarding Heimdall's current situation. Yeah, since Fiona is the daughter of, uh, uh, of, a, uh, of a general, she might be used as a hostage for sure. With control of the railways taken from us, we're limited on what we can actually do, I'm afraid. Sounds frustrating. Regardless, it's my turn to ask all of you something. Bearing all of what we've just discussed in mind, 
What do you intend to do from here on out? Well, good question. Still need to get the rest of the party the together. Power that the Alliance or the Imperial Army's got. But you've still got a pretty significant weapon at your disposal, and one that neither side can afford to ignore. You need to think long and hard about how you intend to use it. Oh, I agree completely. Balamar's power is incredible. That much is definitely true. These past few days have left me with no choice but to accept what I have. He can take on multiple soul dots at once and still come out on top. If used the right way, <coughs> he could maybe even change the direction of this war. But he still stands no chance against Crow. Keep in mind, it's all dependent on the strength of his Awakener. I hate to toss aside the subject of war so frivolously, but we also need to find some way to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin. If we focus on that, it makes perfect sense for us to support the Imperial Army and fight against the Noble Alliance. But... Lieutenant General, I'm afraid that we can't answer your question at the present time. At the very least, not until we've heard everyone's opinion. Oh? Hmm. We hate what the Alliance is doing as much as you do. So, in that sense, we want to do what we can to help you fight against them. But I don't think it would be right for just the four of us to decide without everyone else's input. Yep. We need to find everyone else before making such a major decision. We make our decisions together. That's how we roll. For now, we solely want to put our focus on finding the rest of our classmates. Then, and only then, will we decide how best to approach this war and what we as a class can do to help end it. I see. Once a member of Class 7, always a member of Class 7. <laughs> Can't say I'm all that surprised. Very well. You may have been separated from Thor's, but you still have every bit the spirit of a student. And it is the duty of students to absorb the world around them. Go forth. When you're all together once again, find your role to play. Only then will I hear your answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. I uh. apologize for not being able to give you a better and more immediate answer. Not at all. What you said was perfectly reasonable, Reen. You'll hear no objections from me. Whatever path you choose, I hope you see it through to the end. With all the inner strength and conviction of the son of an Erebonia. That said, I'm conflicted about sending my dear Elliot away without proper protection. Should I send a company of troops with you? What? You mean we get to have our own troops to help us slay monsters? Hell yeah! That might not be enough. He needs airships as well. Oh, an airship would make it easy to travel without forcing Valmar to use his spirit path. That could also help us save some MP. But on the other hand, an airship might be too noticeable and we get shot down easily. Dad, stop! This is so embarrassing. He really is the most doting father I've ever seen. I bet a hundred Mira the war would be over in no time flat if the Alliance ever tried to kidnap Elliot. <laughs> well, in that case... Yeah, if, if Ordine showed up, I don't think a squad of airships will be able to protect us. How would you like me to accompany you? Oh, you're joining. You, Captain? You sure? You're currently using Ymir as your base of operations, correct? Not only could I use my knowledge to better fortify it, I could also handle communications with other regions from there. This could be a good chance to reach out and find Milium as well. I haven't been able to contact her since the war broke out. Oh, works for me. To be blunt, Ymir's borders are wide open, and the Alliance could take advantage of that at any time. We can't have another incident like with the Jaegers. Bringing her back just might be our best defense right now. I hate to admit it, but you're right. There's a limit to how much we can do. At the end of the day, we're students. We need to swallow our pride and take help where it's given. Especially from specialists like the two of you. More important than all of that, I know we can trust you. You're right. Exactly. Captain Claire, we'd be honored to accept your kind offer. Welcome to the team. <laughs> 
pleasure's all mine. In addition to my duties as a member of the RMP, I hereby pledge my support to everyone in Class 7. Does she have an Arcus as well? Looks like everyone has an Arcus these days. Kevin and Claire agreeing to join, they began to make arrangements to leave the military proving ground. When she explained she had preparations to take care of her own, on her own first, however, they decided to stay for a short while longer. The, this gave Class 7 the perfect opportunity to explore the 4th Armored Division space while they waited. Kevin and Claire joined. News Overdrive. Oh, we got. That, we haven't even interacted that much. How do we get Overdrive like that so easily? Well then, I suppose we might as well take a look around. We're meeting her in front of Valimar, right? That's right, we should head there as soon as we, we, we're finished up here. Got it. Oh yeah, that reminds me. That said they're looking after a couple of four students at the space camp. Really? They could very well be someone we know. We should go and see if we can meet with them. I'm game, let's go. Ugh. That was such a brutal freaking battle. But I got all the information! Screw you guys! Look at this. They are really fast, really strong. Ugh. And they seriously expected me to beat these two. Look at them! They have almost as much hit points as the dragons! How could a human ever get that strong? These dragons are on the same level as them. Seriously, I had to use—I had to waste all my S crafts on these fuckers. Oh, she's not officially in our party yet. Uh. That's strange. Even though I got the AP bonus for uh, uh, for beating them qu uh, for uh, getting them down to three percent quickly, it still wasn't. Uh, they didn't really clarify that I got it here. All right. Uh, such bullshit. Uh. Uh, I'm still kind of ashamed myself for using that Zerum powder. A lot of our people also had the S cross spam, but they managed to pull off without Zerum powder. Okay. So I Here feel I like I, I feel like I really screwed up. I didn't use that Zerum powder. Zeno and Leonidas would have killed me with their S crafts for sure. Oh, I can rest here. Oh, hello. You're the visiting students, aren't you? You aren't hurt, are you? This place serves as both a rest area and medical treatment center, so j just let me know if I can help. Uh, oh, it's just this book again. I remember trying to find the owner, but with everything that's happened, I'd forgotten all about it. Oh, I know. Would you like to have it? Someone might as well get some use out of it. It just gets disposed of if it's sat around here, so you might as really might as well. Thanks. And that's pretty much the only missable in this area. Be right back, I'm gonna go read these books off screen. You can probably find them. So, uh, someone probably uh, uh, pasted all the text somewhere on the internet, anyways. Alright, there's a few four students on the base that aren't in class 7. Aha, uh -huh, it's good to see you all again. I have a feeling you were the new arrivals I'd heard about. Monica! Oh, you're Laura's friend from the swimming club. How in the world did you make it all the way here from the academy? Well, back when we were under attack, some of the second years helped us escape. It wasn't long after that when I was lucky enough to have the 4th Armored Division take me in. I've been helping out ever since. That sounds pretty rough, actually. The beast the alternative. I'm just glad Klein helped us get this far, even if we did end up getting separated. 
You guys haven't met up with Laura yet, have you? I was kind of hoping you would have. Us too. We're just not exactly sure where she is right now. We do think we're getting closer though, so it should be just a matter of time. Really? Trust us, there's nothing to worry about. Yep, we'll find her. Promise. Thank you all. That's really reassuring. Be sure to say hi f to her for me whenever you do find her. Of course. Um, she should be in... Here. Um, Monk should also be somewhere on this base. We're, he's in the dining tables... Southeast. Oh. Um, let me go back in there just to make sure he's. Yeah, these are the only two NPCs. I'll just have to search elsewhere. Proving grounds. Um... I must have missed him in here. No? He must be in Gorelia Fortress, maybe. Uh, I guess not. He has to be around here somewhere, though. Just keep looking. How could I have missed him? Oh, there he is. Is well, it's no use. I just can't tune in. Sigh. Is that you, monk? How did he take Misty's betrayal? Oh, hello. I heard you guys were here. Glad to see you're all safe, though. You came here with Monica, right? Yep. Did she give you all the details? It's not that interesting of a story, really. Worse yet, it's kind of cliched. I doubt it'd get a read on the radio even if I sent it in. We're not really looking to be gri gripped here. You're alive. Why are you so down? Uh, why do you think? It's practically impossible to tune to any radio stations around here. Even if by some miracle you do manage, it's all war, war, war all the time. It's so incredibly tedious. Making matters worse, there hasn't been an advent time broadcast since war broke out. I lived for a show. Lived for it. Oh. That's not the one Vita hosted, is it? Yes, yes it was. Reed and I used to listen to it all the time. That was back before we knew its host's true colors. <laughs> hey, don't let it get you too down. You're still briefing. That's something. I guess. Even if it feels like my love has been stolen from me, I can't stay gloomy like this forever. Sigh. Wow, that's a pretty deep depression. And let's leave him to wall in it. We've got better things to do. He didn't make any comment about Misty being evil. Don't tell me Misty put some kind of mass did some kind of mass brainwashing so that everyone except Class Seven forgets about her. She did use that curse to keep Emma from finding her, after all. You all fought admirably against Zephyr earlier. That said, I think you're all quite aware what the outcome would have been had the battle been allowed to play out. They would have used double S craft on me the moment they got their turns, and I would have been a, a, a smudge of blood on the floor. You should be much safer if the captain's with you, but be sure to stay alert. Oh, RMP cars. Maybe Captain Claire and her team drove them here? Captain's departure actually comes at an opportune time, since we're ready to move into the next phase of our plans, too. A coming you should allow her to sneak into a number of the Empire's regions, and ask to our benefit in the long run. We'll be praying for your success. I wish you all the best of luck. I'll leave the RMP in your care then. First Lieutenant, continue with your present activities while gathering info, using this area as your base. Second Lieutenant, your objective should be to make contact with the other armored divisions elsewhere. 
Yes, ma'am. By the way, Captain, will you have any need of this equipment I've gathered? Hmm, yes, I think I will. It'll take a little longer to get everything sorted out here before I can depart. Can you wait by Valimar until I'm done? Sure thing, take all the time you need. I'm sorry you can't sit down and catch up, Elliot. I wish I had time, but you know how it is. Work is work. Uh, don't worry about it. I know how busy you must be. You're not heard anything from the bell earlier, are you? You said your men, you and your men were out there fighting, right? A bell, huh? You're not talking about those losers with fake excuse for an offensive, are you? Huh, as if any of my men would even suffer a bruise from a bell like that. Our blood is so hot, it could uh, melt clean through iron. Take, it'll take more than the Alliance's fancy toys to thrash us. Just smile and nod, it's all you can do when he gets like this. He does seem like the kind of guy who would make you feel awkward. You all fought valiantly, and for that you should be commended, but if you challenge the Alliance again, be on guard. They're getting desperate, and that makes them more dangerous. At this rate, I fear there's nothing they wouldn't do to win. You're right, it did seem that way. Valmar saved her asses this time, but he won't always be there to swoop in. True enough, I was impressed with how well you managed to fend off those Soldat units with just tanks, though. That's all thanks to the anti-Soldat tactics we've developed. They look tough and they're quick, but they're inferior to our tanks both in offensive and defensive capabilities. They do have their strengths, namely their mobility and the flexibility they have due to their humanoid figure. But if you can deny them the chance to make use of those, they're just walking hunks of metal waiting to be blown up. Sounds a lot like Metal Gear. Nice thing he's not talking about military business, really. Alright, I'm just going to talk to the important NPCs. As part of the Imperial Army, we have our own role to play in this war. We may not be able to fight alongside one another, but we're not on opposing sides either. I wish you all the best. I never thought a day would come when Elliot would, could, would demonstrate such an iron will, though. Sniffle, my boy, you've done your father proud. This isn't that big a deal, Dad. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.